One of the biggest studies ever undertaken into water quality on the Great Barrier Reef has found that seaweed thrives in poor water conditions, which then significantly affects coral diversity. Researchers say climate change is the reef's number one threat, but poor water quality is also having a long-lasting and damaging impact. One of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Barrier Reef is facing an abundance of well-known natural and man-made threats. But researchers say seaweed could be choking the reef faster than climate change itself. It's a substantial increase in, in the amount of seaweed on the reefs and those seaweeds obviously take away space from the corals to colonise the area. The Australian Institute of Marine Science has just released its findings in an international scientific journal. It indicates poor water quality as the catalyst for increasing amounts of seaweed on the reef, which in turn lowers the biodiversity of coral species. Water quality affects many aspects of coral communities and it's also interesting to know uh, how those communities have changed over time. Similar research has been conducted previously, but mainly on a local scale. This study was much broader, with data collected from 150 reefs, taking in more than 2,000 water quality testing stations right across the marine park. Already, the results from the research have been utilised by scientists at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, and water quality guidelines have been released for the agricultural sector. That's an issue we can manage. We can manage lo local water quality and regional water quality on the Great Barrier Reef. Because climate change is a little bit harder to tackle. The study estimates that water on about 22% of reefs don't meet water quality guidelines. Megan Woodward, ABC News, Townsville.